Hey guys, this is Kyle uh, with KA Vapors, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the K Box Mini. Uh, this it's got the the sub tank on it. It's a sub box mod. It runs up to 50 watts, and I borrowed it from a buddy, and uh, he let me use it for about a week. I've been vaping on it, and um, after about a week, uh, I've got some things to say about it. These are very popular. Uh, a lot of people, beginner vapors, uh, people, intermediate, people people like these. And I will say, they look cool. They, that's for sure. The tank matches the box, and it's, it's appealing. They make it in uh, this white and black, and then they make it in red and black. So, the mod itself, I do like. I like it a lot. For a, a 50 watt sub box, it's pretty good. I like it. I I throw RDAs on here sometimes, um, and it's got a magnetic back here. You can put one 18650 in there, which is nice because you can take it out, throw it on your charger for your 18650, or you can charge it through a little micro USB port right in there. Okay, so. When I got this thing, uh, I asked my buddy what he thought of it and um, like so a couple pros and cons. So the tank itself is made out of glass. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's even glass over this like this little plastic piece. There's glass over the entire thing. The whole thing is glass. So that's a downfall because I know some people who have dropped these. And uh, the boxes, they're durable. They're very durable. But the tanks, they're made of complete glass and they break. Um, that That's one downfall for the top, for the sub tank. Uh, but the box, the mod itself, I do like. It's um, It's got a little uh, digital screen right there. I got it at 50 watts. Um, it's got full battery right now, so I'll show you guys how it vapes. It's not bad, especially for a tank. That's pretty good. Um, I wish it was. I mean, I know they made uh, a couple other mods, and uh, but this mini only goes up to 50 watts. 60 watts would be nice just for running some RDAs and whatnot. No, uh, you can't get crazy with the coils or anything. But um, it's pretty simple to use. I mean, wattage up, wattage down, shows the battery on there. And right now, this uh, the coil in the um, the tank here is at uh, 0.6 ohms. Uh, so uh, I would definitely say that uh, the tank itself, I'm not a fan of. I'm not crazy about it. I don't like that it's glass and it leaks. It, it does leak. Um, some people say that it doesn't leak, but I've noticed that this thing does leak. And uh, if you unscrew it, it's the juice is all under there. It comes out the sides. Um, I do like Kanger Tech products. Uh, they make good stuff, but this sub this sub tank, I'm not a fan of. Uh, the mod itself, I do like a lot. Definitely recommend it. But for the price, you can get these things for fifty dollars online. And for uh, a little box, a sub box, and a sub tank, that is that's a pretty good deal. Um, so. I think this is great for beginner vapors. If you don't know too much about vaping, maybe you want to get into it. Maybe you want to quit smoking cigarettes. This is a good product. I would highly recommend it to people just getting into it. People who have been into vaping for a while and are just getting more into it. They're messing around with RDAs, tanks, anything. Um, I, I would recommend the box if uh, you're not getting too crazy with your coils. 50 watts isn't, isn't too much. Uh, I like I like a higher wattage because I like to build um, lower ohm coils. But I do like this this one. This is pretty good and uh, it's sleek. It's nice and thin. Fits in your pocket pretty nice. However, with this tank, it's you can see it's pretty big. Like it it's a uh, it would stick out of your pocket quite a bit if you decided to throw it in your pocket. Um, um the magnetic back. I like a lot. It's it stays on. There's no problems with it really. Uh, I'd say the biggest plus to this setup right here is the price point. You cannot beat fifty dollars for this thing. Uh, 
if you're just getting into vaping, if you maybe you want to get a box, if you want to get your first vape, this is probably the way to go. This is going to get you into it. This, um, other than the leaking problem in the glass in the tank, uh, which I heard not everybody has, but I have experienced. Um, I, the tank isn't bad. You just prime the coil, or uh, you can get new coils for it, and they're pretty cheap. Um, you can pick them up at just about any vape shop. Uh, other than that, I do like it. I always love vapes that you can charge with a micro USB. Um, that's pretty cool. You can also hit this while it is charging through the micro USB, which is another plus. It charges up pretty quick. I'd say it takes, uh, if it's if it's actually dead, it probably takes a couple hours to charge. Not too bad uh, compared to some like my triple eighteen six fifty, the RX two hundred. Um, that one takes uh, a bit longer than this. Um, you can, I normally throw an RDA on it because I'm not a fan of the tank. So, uh, I just did a review on the velocity. I uh, don't know where it's at right now, but I put that on here, hitting it at 50 watts and, um, just, uh, two 24 gauge, uh, six wrap coils and it hits great. Like it, there's some big clouds coming off of it and it, the velocity RDA is white matches this it looks awesome i mean i think that com the combo with this and the velocity rda is just killer it's great but for the price point you cannot beat this so if you're debating getting one of these um if you're into vaping a bit and you've gone through a couple rdas and maybe some tanks a couple boxes i wouldn't say that this is for you this is more of a beginner some maybe somebody who wants to uh, quit smoking cigarettes um this thing is very appealing to the eye. Uh, it it looks nice. I would give it that. I mean, they did. I like how the tank, the color of the tank matches the color of the mod. Um, Kanger Tech's been doing that for a while. Uh, but it's not a bad mod for sure. Uh, if you're just getting into it, just getting into vaping, or uh, you know, you're just vaping to quit smoking cigarettes, and then you're eventually gonna quit uh, vaping. I'd say get it. It'd be perfect. Then, or if you're just getting into vaping, then later on you want to get more into it. Get it and uh, use this for a little while. Learn a little bit about it, and then you can take the tank off if you're not a big fan, uh, and throw like an RDA on it and start dripping. Um, uh, it for for the tank, it produces some pretty good clouds. That's not bad for a tank, especially this tank. Uh, that's with the airflow wide open. You can see there. The airflow is wide open. You can adjust the airflow right right here. Just twist it. It's pretty nice and easy. You can see that little air, uh, the little air hole right there. I mean, I always run it wide open. I would not even change the airflow at all after wide open because it's, I mean, I've, I've got a couple other tanks, and if you have it wide open, it's a lot easier to pull out of than this one. But overall, not a bad mod. Kanger Tech makes great stuff. Uh, I, I do like the box a lot if you're not trying to run too high wattage. Um, this thing's pretty cost effective. $50 isn't too bad. Um, you can charge your 18650 on a battery charger. Uh, you can charge up a couple and just keep throwing batteries in here if you want. The battery life lasts a while. Um, not a bad mod, uh, probably not my cup of tea, uh, but I've got good things to say about the box, haven't had any problems with it, they're durable, um, and they look nice. The tank, not my favorite, and that's about, yeah, that's, that's where I am with this mod. Uh, thank you guys for watching, this has been another review with KA Vapors, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.